Andrew Pulliam and Travis Jones are roommates at a house located close to Blue Bonnet Circle. This past June, their house was burglarized. They had left a key under a mat on their front door. It was only there a couple of hours, but that's all it took. Would you say that you were kind of paranoid after? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, when that, that first happened, it uh, don't get me wrong, it took a fair bit of time for me to get really, I don't know, used to it, move past it, because I was pretty, you know, shaken up. Two laptops, a stereo system, a watch, a small dish of change, and even disposable razors were stolen from the house. Since then, the two decided to invest in an alarm system and an interesting type of bar system in order to keep their door from being kicked in. My roommate, uh, Travis Jones, went to Lowe's and purchased these kind of uh, S-shaped little bars, screwed them, bolted them into the door, and then purchased a quarter-inch thick steel bar. <laughs> So that regardless of this gets kicked in, this bar is not going anywhere. The day after the burglary, Jones was at Lowe's buying more items to equip his home when he returned home to find a man at the front door and a woman sitting in a car outside his house. Jones chose to confront him. I get out of my car, stupid, walk up to the guy, and I'm like, is there someone in my house? And he goes, well, I was just um, knocking on the door to see if anyone was home because it looks like there's a car here. And I said, so what would you have done next if no one was home? And he goes, man, I wasn't trying to burglarize you or nothing. I was like, funny thing, I got burglarized yesterday. Every year, many average people, just like Jones and Pulliam, experience their house being burglarized. Between January and December of 2009, 102 crimes were reported in the neighborhoods immediately surrounding TCU. Of those reported crimes, 31 were burglary of residents. This means that that one crime accounted for nearly 30% of all the crimes that occurred around the TCU campus and occurred more times than any other crime. TCU Police Chief Steve McGee says a lot of times the burglars live in the same area of someone they would burglarize. The regular run-of-the-mill burglar that the Fort Worth Police are involved with, um, usually they live pretty close in the area, within a mile to two miles, so they know the area very well. And because of that, they know people's habits because they've walked by or driven by and they know when people come and go. McGee says something students can do to prevent their house from being burglarized is always make sure your locks on your windows and doors work well. Sarah Fleischer, TCU News Now.